Meet Sarah and Emma Bordelin Vetter of Toronto's local based rock indie band, The Folk. The Folk have been around since 2009 playing shows in and around Toronto. And, just like any other local band, Sarah, Emma, and the other members have been working hard to get their music recognized among Toronto's local music fans. But playing shows doesn't seem to be their only strategy in getting their music recognized. Social media seems to be a key element in their success as a band so far. 2012, yes, social networking mm -hmm. sites are a necessity and essential to be able to create and uh, get your message or your creative content out. It's sort of essential now. I mean, it's not the 70s or the 90s where it's like a letter or something or, you know, TV, like, woohoo, you know? Yeah. It's not nostalgia anymore. It's 2012. So, yeah, I would, I would say Twitter, I would say social media sites are a necessity to be able to interact with your fans and your friends. Using sites such as Bandcamp, Facebook, and Sonic Bids, the folk are beginning to establish their online presence in hopes of being recognized from fans all over the world. For them, Twitter seems to be the biggest help so far. Using Twitter, they've not only received attention from local fans here in Toronto, but also from radio shows across Ontario, magazine reviewers in Vancouver, Canada, and now our friends across the border, Chicago. This uh, magazine, QRO magazine from Chicago did a little awesome write-up about uh, our newest EP, and it was mm -hmm. just really nice of them, too. They're just like, what the fuck what happened here? But yeah, it was via Twitter. It was just sort of, you know, shouting out to people on Twitter and getting hype and buzz that way. It's no doubt that social media sites have helped many musicians and artists get their work out there. Take a look at Canadian-born singer Justin Bieber, who found his success on YouTube. Carly Rae Jepsen, also from Canada, had her hit Call Me Maybe go viral online. And just this past year, Walk Off the Earth gained international success with their YouTube cover video, Somebody That I Used to Know. These are all artists that have used social media networking to develop their careers. With the help of social media, the folk plan on promoting their newest album, Say It Again, through an online means. And they hope to one day experience the success that artists such as Bieber, Jepsen, and Walk Off the Earth have already had. Yeah, I think that's what everybody wants to do when they play in a rock band, right? There's, I mean, of course you want to, number one, write great music. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah, there's that underlying beast that you want to be famous because the main trigger why you want to start is because you watched an artist when you were younger and you thought, wow, they are superheroes. So what last minute advice do Sarah and Emma have for local bands that are looking to gain a fan base online? Interaction and communication seem to be the key. I think it's really good to be able to interact with your fans and not only fans, but friends too, and just people who are interested in your music. And the nice thing about Twitter is that it's, it's nice to be able to interact with people, right? To be able to communicate with your fans and your audience on some sort of normal plane instead of you know, talking to them after a show. For Global City Music, I'm Emily Agard.